If you haven't already heard, Kia is introducing a new pickup truck, and this is the first official image we have of the upcoming Tasman. While videos and other images have surfaced on social media showing the truck from various angles, Kia released this video of the Tasman covered in a colorful camouflage wrap, and it's the best look yet of the global model, which will go on sale in select markets in 2025. While the distracting design hides many details, we can see the Tasman's overall crew cab shape and its interesting looking headlights that resemble the units on the Telluride and EV9 SUVs. We can also see that it has all-terrain tires, which suggests that it will be intended for off-roading to some extent. The packaging, designed by Boyd Dunlop, is designed to emphasize that it is Australian-inspired character. The name taken from the Australian island of Tasmania fits this mood. Visually, the Tasman looks unconventional, although not as radical as the Tesla Cybertruck. While the overall silhouette is in line with other mid-size pickups, the front fascia features an interesting grille design. Kia's designers took a bold approach to the headlights, placing them lower on the fascia for a distinctive look. The side profile is where Kia will make its most dramatic statement. This prototype and other models we've seen sport a set of boxy wheel arches that jut out sharply from the rest of the body. The bed also looks pretty wide, and while the tail lights on this model are almost completely hidden, they're expected to be trick LED units. The Tasman will likely be based on the same body structure as the second generation Mojave SUV. Most of the versions sold will likely be powered by the 2.2 liter CRDI four cylinder found in other Kia and Hyundai models like the Kia Sorento and Hyundai Santa Fe, which produces 199 horsepower and 441 nephilim of torque. Not long ago, our spy photographers spotted Tasman in Sweden. They pulled the Kia while testing it against the Ford Ranger Raptor. This has led to speculation that a high-powered version to rival the Ford could also be in the works. The Kia and Hyundai families have an impressive 3.5-litre twin-turbocharged V6 gasoline unit that can do the job nicely. Another option would be Kia's 3.0-litre turbo diesel V6. We already know the finished product will look more uniform than this digitally created one, but it's fair to say that the Tasman will certainly look unique when it debuts early next year. Will bear an appearance. Contrasted wheel arches up front. Kia has confirmed it wants to take on the current segment leaders, meaning the Tasman will have to offer a 3,500 kilos braked towing capacity and 1,000 kilos payload in some variants. Expect the dual screen infotainment unit to roll out across the Kia range, although it will be more. It's not yet clear how it will differ from its less rugged SUV brethren. Our renderings hint at thick door handles, but plenty of leather on top of the line GT line models. At the rear, there is a distinct sweep to the window line, which affects rear visibility. Kia's model range has expanded steadily over the past two decades, enjoying increasing sales without competing in one of the most competitive market segments, pickup trucks. That will change with the long-awaited Kia Tasman.